they go to do keyframing in Sony Vegas Pro 10. And keyframing, I think, is very, very useful for a lot of different things. So here's how you do it. So I just have a picture here. And basically, let's say you want to zoom. Uh, what you would use is keyframing. So if you click the little pan crop button on here, and let's say we want to, you know, zoom in on the McDonald's. So what you would want to do is, here is where your keyframe starts. Okay, so I pick a spot like here for now. What I do is zoom in and move it over here. Okay, and so basically. What keyframing does is, so right now, it's going to start full screen, and basically all these frames, it's going to go, you know, it'll zoom like this. I'll just, just watch it. We'll see. So I play. It'll zoom all the way to where the keyframe stopped. Basically, Frames is that? It's like from the actual picture to where I want to stop. It's like three seconds, so you see, you know, thirty for a second, and it's around like three fifteen. In half seconds, it'll zoom from big normal all the way to the small size I zoom. In. And if you want to make it faster, you can just move the keyframe around. So say you want to do it in like one second, you can just move the actual keyframe one second, and it'll zoom in a lot faster. Watch. Boom. A lot faster. So basically, depending on how fast or how slow you want to, uh, you know, do your zoom, and you move the keyframe around. And it's actually really useful for a lot of other things too. I would. Definitely recommend knowing how to keyframe just for editing in general. It's another thing you'll see a lot, I think. Let's get rid of this. Is I don't know, a lot of times when you see in videos, people always move the <laughs> move the you know, screen around. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to start. Oops, let's try this again. You'd start zoomed in a little bit, and maybe start at one side, and then you can pick, you know, just say how about a second. So from the start to a second, we want it to move from upper left to lower right, and then your keyframe there. So watch this. Okay, I'll start in the upper left and the lower right over a second. So you know, like I said before. You want it slower or faster, you just got to move the keyframe around. Um, well, I mean, basically, that, that's the basic principle of keyframing. You can do a lot of different things with this effect. Um, I actually use it as a, I use keyframing as a transition sometimes, where I'll zoom in and zoom out really fast, like 10 frames, and it should look like a transition. So use it for that. You can for that, you know. You create it with it, but it's really useful for um, a lot of different. Or actually, if you want to like make like a happy face or some sort of icon on top of your picture or video, and you'll have it moving around the screen, that you would use keyframing for that to move it from point to point. And you know, you see the program will move the object wherever you want based on how frames and location. You have your icon moving all over the place if you want it to, but you'd have to keyframe each little section, you know. So that's where it gets kind of tedious, but that thing is, right? So that's pretty much on keyframing. It's pretty simple, uh, you know, as long as you understand the concept. So hopefully this helped you, and, you know, go use it in your videos and make cool effects because, you know, that's what I like to do. It's fun. So anyways, hope this helped you, and I'll see you guys next time.